this tutorial, we'll show you how to sync audio with video using Timecode. Today, we're working on Space Cats. Our camera and audio recorder both had Timecode and were jammed together, so I can sync this up using Timecode. Inside the audio folder and EVA1 folder, I'm going to sync the two clips labeled Timecode. Command or control click on a PC and select both clips. Hold control to right click on a Mac and create multi-camera source sequence. I only have one camera, so it's not really a multi-cam, but this will create a sequence that has video and audio in sync, which acts like a clip and does not modify your camera originals, so you always have something to go back to. In the dialog box, I keep it as clip name plus sync, so I know these are my syncs. I'm syncing with timecode, so I'm going to select timecode as my sync point. If you don't have a timecode enabled camera or audio recorder, you can also sync by endpoint or waveform. Check out the links in the description below. Make sure you deselect the move source clips to processed bin. This keeps your clips where you put them and does not rearrange the project. Click OK and it will instantly sync the audio with the video. Now that that is finished, I'll open the new multi camera sequence it created in my source monitor. Hit spacebar to play it back. The last and best way to sync audio and video in Premiere is to use timecode. It's not always an option. Some cameras don't have a timecode input, but if yours does... That looks like it's in sync to me. If I hold down Command or Control on a PC and double click on the sequence, it will open it in a timeline. I can zoom in and compare the waveforms. The camera audio is on the very bottom. I can see that they are in fact in sync. We recorded the audio on a Mix Pre 10T the fourth track is a wireless lavalier, the next was a boom, and track one and two are my left-right mix out of the recorder. If you had more than one microphone in a scene, you can solo each mic here and pick the one you want to use. Now it's time to choose which mic I want to use. I know I want to use the third track, which is the boom. To do this, control or right-click on the multi-cam sequence and choose Modify, Audio Channels. I'm only using one audio channel, so I'm going to set this to 1, and I want this to be track 3, so I check box 3. If I open this back up in our source monitor, I can see that the timecode over on the left has stayed the same as the camera originals. If we had good notes from set, we know that at a specific time there was a really good take, we can just jump right over there and watch it. Another benefit of timecode is you can sync multiple clips simultaneously. I'm ready to drop this into my final sequence now. Press period to put the clip into the timeline, and I can see that there is a single audio track. If you want hands-on help syncing audio and video, stop by the Womp House.